Guys, there is nothing about this event, not a single thing about this Call of Darkness event that is unique or limited time. There's nothing about it. Only, Every it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. Happy New Titan Day. The Call of Darkness is a three-day event that is the first of four to six Titan events, well, I guess four to eight Titan events, whenever you include the uh, the Super Titans. We know now what all of the new Titan events are going to look like. There are eight tasks, and while I have them listed in the description box down below, I'm not going to go into them all individually because we're all adults. The big question that everybody has is, you know, why why are the tasks so big? Why are they so hard? Why, you know, this isn't fair to the average player. Is it, though? We'll talk about it in just a second. We can also answer a couple more questions, but we'll get to those. What's in the dolls? Is this a good event? Is this a fun event? How good is Kira? Heroes, really. Let's uh, let's jump into the video proper and uh, let's let's see if we can answer some of those questions. The primary list of rewards is the Kiros Soul Stones as well as the Kiros Doll. Now, the first thing that everybody saw uh, as they're kind of scrolling through this is the 120,000 Emerald Spin task, which is I think tied for the most uh, Emeralds that any three-day event has ever asked for. 120,000 Emeralds is a uh, is a big lid to this event. It's actually going to take you around. $94 to complete this event at the most efficient if you bought emeralds during a times four emerald sale. I unfortunately did not, but that's okay. And I'm going to tell you why in just a few minutes. All right. So hold on a little bit. 16,000 energy is a lot of energy, but it actually isn't that much if you kind of, you know, if you've been saving up for events like this for a while, but this is the doozy right here. Open 230 chests in Outlands, and then you have the upgrade Titan skin 40 times, uh, and then finally level up any Titan 80 times. So this is going to cost you a ton of emeralds to do to get 230 chest openings. That's, I mean, that's a lot. That's, that's, that's a good amount. That's like, that's, that's just under 80 per day for all three days. And then upgrading a Titan skin 40 times. Who has saved up 40 levels worth of Titan skin stones? I, I wish that somebody had suggested to me like a month or two ago to maybe start saving some skin stones because there might be adding some new important skins in the future. Does, it, does that sound familiar to anybody? I know it sounds familiar to me, wink. And then finally, the leveling up of 80 Titan by 80 levels. Now, both of these for the, you know, to the mid to high end player, is gonna be a little difficult. You have the whole, the whole adage of why save a resource that you can use right now uh, if if using it right now can improve your account by a good amount, why save them for the potential of a future event? And while I totally agree with that argument, saving up Titan skin stones for this uh, for this Kiros seems like it doesn't make a lot of sense. But we knew for months now that Kiros was coming, and we know that Kiros was going to have at least a default skin. And then the same can be said for the other new Titans that are coming, as well as the tank Titans that are coming and the super Titans. We've known that the skin stones were going to be needed for these new Titans. And if you chose to level them on your existing Titans, you're not any better or worse off than you are now. Of course, there is the window between now, when this event went live, and whenever I suggested to start saving your skin stones a little while ago, that maybe you won a few more matches in Guild Wars with your uh, improved Titans, definitely could be possible. But this task, as well as the task to level up Kiros is to suggest to you to level up the new Titan. Of course, you can level up an existing Titan instead if you'd like. And that's kind of what I want to focus on as we wrap up these tasks right here. Before we move into the other stuff, the statement that I want to make to you is twofold. First of all, there are only basic soul stones for Kiros as well as these Kiros dolls, which we'll open some up in just a little bit. But the fear of missing out on getting a strong enough Kiros is not there. Okay. The very high tasks on this event seems like it's unfair, unfair, right? It seems like it is impossible to do. And anybody that wants to get a strong Kiros will struggle because they haven't been saving up enough Titan skin stones or they don't have enough emeralds or they don't want to open up uh, 230 outland chests. But consider for a second, if you will, this post back on uh, back about three days ago, it says very plainly after the end of the new Titan events, soul stones of the new Titans will not appear immediately in the summoning circle. See you in the game. Kiros's soul stones will eventually appear in the Titan summoning spheres. They're not there now, but they will eventually. So if you don't get a very strong Kiros during the event because you didn't want to spend 120,000 emeralds or you didn't want to open 230 
30 outline chest. I even if you couldn't do any of that, you will still be able to get some of Kiros during this event just by regularly playing the game, spinning energy, spinning emeralds, opening out land chests, doing stuff that you would normally do anyway. And then in the future, you can just go and open him out of Titan Summoning Spheres, just like you can get Ignis or Moloch or anybody else out of these uh, out of these spheres right here. He will be in here eventually. He will. And so will Mort, and so will the other two Light Titans, and so will the new tank and the new Super Titans for Light and Darkness. They will all be in the Circle of Summoning eventually. All right, so that takes care of summoning and evolving the new Titan, right? The FOMO, or the fear of missing out, of getting a strong Heroes is there, but he will eventually be in here, right? He will eventually, according, according to that Facebook post, he will eventually be in there. And we already know that the artifacts for the new Titans are in here as well. You can see that there is a chance to get the uh, Dark Star of Nectus Fragment, which is his uh, his artifact weapon, right? Here's the two artifact weapons for the new Darkness Titans. Here's the two artifact uh, weapons for the two new Light Titans. Here is the Darkness Crown and the Light Crown. And then if we scroll down a little bit more, we have the, uh, the Gleaming Attack Seal for the new Titans. And here is the Gleaming Balance Seal for the new Titans. And there will be Gleaming Defense Seals for the new Tank Titans uh, added in here when they come around as well. So we so we already know that in the future you can get Kiros' Soul Stones for the Titan Summoning Spheres. We already know that you can get his artifacts from the Big Money Blue Balls. They're already here. And by the way, the, uh, the Darkness Totem Fragments and the Light Totem Fragments were added to the pool. Bad luck protection does apply to these. We don't specifically know what those ranks are yet. We will update the website uh, and the blog post in a little while once we get confirmation on those. We're still waiting on confirmation, but uh, this does add 12 new totem fragments to the altar of elements, bringing the total up to 30 total fragments you can get out of here. I think somebody mentioned like 8.6 million emeralds is what it takes now to get all of the totem fragments. That's not the purpose of this video, but just know that you can get them out of here. And of course, you can level up Kiros's skin using just regular Titan skin stones. So literally every part of Kiros, with the exception of his soul stones, is available right now through any other means that you normally would get and level up for any of the other Titans. The only thing that's missing right now is an easy and fast way to get Kiro's soul stones. And we know that sooner or later, he will be added to the summoning circle. So why then, if we can do all of that, why are the tasks so thick? Why are they so difficult? Well, two reasons. First of all, to get you thinking about maybe I should spend this much. Maybe I should spend $94 worth of emeralds to max out this task. And the second thing is, is to give those people that are going to for sure max out this Titan. And by the way, there are plenty of people with this Titan already maxed out across web and Facebook. This is just giving them a, a little bit more efficient opportunity to level up those different aspects of the Titan. That's, that's all it is, guys. That's all it is. Now, when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, we always want to answer two big questions when it comes to these events and any event in Hero Wars Facebook and Web as well as Hero Wars Mobile. Is this a fun event? No, this is not a fun event. All you are doing is stuff that you would normally do anyway. Logging in. Maybe you might buy something here or there. Maybe you spend a little bit of emeralds here or there in the outland chests or maybe buying some extra energy. You're definitely going to be spending your energy every day. You're definitely going to be open outland chests every day. You're going to want to level up this guy a little bit, right? And because of that, you're going to get some of the rewards just for playing the game every day like you would anyway. Just jumping into your daily quests and going down the list. So it's not a fun event. There's no story. There's no map. There's no activity. There's no brawl where you're training with the new Titan. It's not a fun event. There's nothing to it. Is it a good event? Is it a good event for the value? Well, without jumping in and doing any heavy math aside from, you know, what we've already looked at for the, you know, spend emerald task, I don't personally believe that this is a very good event to spend your resources on. You're going to need Kiros and Mort and the other Titans eventually for the new Clash of Worlds activity, but you don't really want to use them until these Titans are as strong or stronger than your Curtain Titans. Take for example what I've got so far. I've invested a little bit here. I got into 3,500 power level in, you know, in day one in my first sitting. When you compare it to some of my existing Titans, my Angus, my tank is 147K, my Hyperion is 139K, my Eden is 134K, and you know, all of the Titans that I use are at least 100K or higher. It's gonna be a long time. It's gonna be a long time before my Kiros gets strong enough to get to the point where he's usable in my main team. 
And indeed, you wouldn't necessarily want to use Kiros until you also had Mort, a second Darkness Titan. And then you wouldn't want to use Kiros and Mort necessarily until you got access to one of the new totem fragments for the Darkness Totem so that you can take advantage of the new mechanic where you can use uh, two totems in a fight. I would use my Earth Totem as well as my Dark Totem, right? I would use these two totems. But again, I can't use the Dark Totem until I randomly get it, which may be another 280,000 Emeralds for me, or maybe Winterfest is when I get my first opportunity to get another totem. Or maybe there's gonna be a bundle where I can buy one pretty soon, I don't know. And by the way, I could just as easily get another Fire Totem instead if I'm you know, buying a random sphere or uh, opening big money blue balls. I can't use the totem until I get one. I can't use the Darkness Titans until I've leveled them up enough, and I shouldn't really use the Darkness Titans unless I get, you know, two and also get a Totem Fragment. There is going to be some synergies with one and four and one and three and one and different things like that, but it's so far away from when Kiros is going to actually be effective to me that I am better off, and I would suggest that potentially you are better off as well, better off relaxing, not going too crazy on this event. Don't worry about leveling up a Titan skin 80 times. Don't worry about, you know, leveling up the, the Titan 80 times. Unless, unless you have the resources, it's probably not a good return on investment because Scorching Days, Riotous Growth, and Rainy Season, the current events that we have to compare this one to, are not good events for spending either. They're good events for all players, but they're not an efficient way to spend your resources. And I don't think that this one is really either. So let's get a couple more of these dolls and we will uh, we'll open some and see what we can get out of this. Let's just, let's just see what we can do. Looks like I got 42 Kiros dolls, 42 Kiros dolls. And by the way, this probably follows the same doll uh, opening drop rate convention that we have uh, for all of the other uh, dolls that we can get in Hero Wars Facebook and Web. That is, there's probably a 40% chance to get more Kiros dolls by opening the Kiros doll. So if you have 100, the math works out to roughly that you will end up with 300 total. It looks like that I had enough to get at least a two-star Kiros. I'm not 100% sure how many I needed. I think I needed like 30 to summon him. I mean, I can't remember exactly how many I needed to get to a tier two or a, a two-star, but you can see I'm, I'm 14 soul stones into a three-star Kiros. Just minimal spending here, minimal, uh, minimal activity. And let's go ahead and open up some of these Kiros dolls. Now, I have 42. I should end up with about 150 after all is said and done. Uh, what you're going to see out of here is a good mixture of resources, both for your existing Titans and for, for other Titans. So I have Kiros Soul Stones. I have gold. I have more Kiros dolls. I have things to level up my artifact, weapons, and crown. I have Titan Spheres. I have big money blue balls to get more Titan artifacts. Uh, I got some artifact seal chests, which is actually pretty cool, being able to uh, potentially get the seal that I want. I'm curious if the seal the new seals are in here they're not okay so the, the the darkness and light seals are not in the artifact seal chest that's interesting that's interesting all right so 42 turn into 30. we got titan xp potions i bet you we get titan oh we got uh some of the ancient titan artifact chests these are fantastic chests they give you random rewards i bet you we get titan skin stones in here in fact i know that we do because i saw them in the previous pull we didn't get anything in there we got 30 more let's go ahead and collect all i did see some titan skin stones in here there you go T uh, titan skin stones here's some more of the uh, essence of the elements to level up my artifacts a lot more kiros uh kiros soul stones a lot more kiros dolls here's my third pull of almost 30. See if we got anything crazy in this. A lot of Kiro Soul Stones are in these dolls. And whenever I get a nice drop rate posted from the from the Wikipedia or from Load Runner, I'll go ahead and add that to the description. If it's not there yet, then it will be there in the future, just uh, just for future reference. And it looks like we have kind of figured out everything that is in here. Uh, a lot of gold. Uh, a lot of Kiros dolls, a lot of Kiros soul stones. Uh, we have 22, so we're just going to kind of blow through this again, kind of scrolling through, making sure we haven't missed anything. There may be an avatar in here. There may be some, maybe some energy in here. I don't, I don't, I doubt there'd be energy in here since this is a Titan focused doll. And down to four and down to two. And this is kind of where it kind of holds on for its last gasp of breath. Two, two some Titan skin stones, and there we go. I'm not going to be spending a lot on this event. I'm absolutely not. I think the Darkness Titans are really cool. I like the uh, Lightness Titans, Lightness. I like the Light Titans a lot also, but I don't know yet which Titans I need for Clash of Worlds, which we got to talk about still, uh, and uh, and for my current Guild War team. And those videos will be coming either this weekend or next week. The best 
uses for these different titans now that we have them and we can do max testing with them we can test them out a little bit and see what is what of course we can't do max testing with the new totem yet until we get the totem until we uh until we get a second darkness titan until we get the light titans and all of that but you know that will happen eventually guys there is nothing about this event not a single thing about this call of darkness event that is unique or limited time there's nothing about it everything that you can get from this event you will be able to easily get in the future i'm going to leave you with that all right hope everybody has a fantastic friday and the rest of the weekend i love you all good luck in dominion